Human mobility can have wide-ranging impacts both on the countries where migrants come from and the countries where migrants go. While a person or group's movements can be between towns or cities in the same country, researchers and policymakers alike are often interested in what happens when people migrate internationally or across an international country border. In this video, we will specifically examine the effects of international migration in the destination or host countries. Migration effects are observed at different levels of society and under a variety of circumstances. While this video is not meant to be a complete list of every effect host countries or locations will experience, it will summarize some of the most commonly discussed and researched outcomes. In general, there are effects that individual migrants or groups of migrants experience themselves in the destination country. There are also effects of migration on the communities where migrants live. And finally, there are macro level effects felt at the country or regional level. The effects we will discuss here are of course the result of migration. Certain mechanisms or characteristics, however, have a more direct role in shaping these host country effects. For example, many of the innovation and labor market effects destination countries experience are caused by an increased presence of job-seeking immigrants. Important migrant characteristics that can affect outcomes are things like language abilities, levels of education, skills and qualifications, transnational ties to the origin, place or community, and gender. Another important area to acknowledge relates to skills transfers. Migrants and host locations can impact parts of the economy, like through innovation, by transferring their knowledge, ideas, and even cultural values to the native population and thereby expanding the ways problems are approached and solved or by creating new technologies. The effects migrants individually experience in host locations are often a result of specific characteristics. Firstly, a migrant's own skill set educational qualifications, regularity of their immigration status, their country of origin, and aspirations play an important role in determining the type of employment, working conditions, and even social cohesion experienced in the destination. The approach a host society takes towards immigrants is also important, whether there is a welcoming culture or not. Additionally, immigrants whose qualifications are highly regarded by host countries may find more favorable employment conditions than those whose backgrounds are not as highly valued. If all goes well for migrants, they can experience many positive effects in a host country, like higher wages, better living conditions, safer environments, more rewarding jobs, and increased access to education and healthcare. On the other hand, migrants can face negative consequences. This is especially likely when migrants are either classified as unskilled or don't have the right permissions to stay and work in the country of destination. In these cases, it is likely for migrants to only find employment characterized by what we, by what we call the 4D jobs. These are dangerous, dirty, demeaning, and dull jobs. In addition to possible exploitation, Migrants can face a decreased standard of living in the host society if they're under intense pressure to send cash remittances back to their place of origin, since this will decrease the funds available for them to live off of in the destination country. Despite these possible negative effects, there is research identifying some advantages migrants have when finding employment. This is because of the specific transferable knowledge migrants bring to host societies that gives them a comparative advantage over the native populations in certain sectors. Take food preparation and restaurant ownership. Immigrants have knowledge of the cultural dishes found in their places of origin, so they can specialize in making their native cuisine in the host society, since the local population would have less knowledge of how to prepare these foods. While immigrants can see positive benefits from such entrepreneurial activities, research has shown that this is less desired as an alternative to typical wage employment. Now let's broaden our scope to look at the effects immigrants can have on their immediate surroundings. Here, we will focus on effects at work and school. In the workplace, there is a large collection of research on migrants' effects on innovation. 
While innovation is a broad term describing how individuals, teams, and societies develop new ideas, devices, or methods to solve problems, we commonly see it measured as the number of patents a company files. Immigrants can transfer their knowledge and use their outside perspective to challenge their local counterparts on how to think differently than how they would typically in a group of like-minded natives. In fact, studies in the United States show that skilled migrants on average have higher patenting rates compared to the native population. Similar mechanisms, including positive competition, have been shown to increase educational learning and performance in more diverse educational settings. Think of how universities often promote the international character of their classroom because they understand the value of students learning from each other who have different backgrounds. Now let's turn our attention to country level effects like wages and labor market indicators. A common concern is that extra labor supply that immigration generates will drive wages down since there may be more people competing for the same jobs. On one hand, immigrants themselves commonly face wage penalties, but the mechanisms causing this is less about inflows of job seekers and more about host country attitudes towards foreign qualifications. Foreign earned qualifications are often approached with skepticism by host country employers who then often offer lower wages to employees who completed their training abroad. On the other hand, the idea that immigrants' presence drives down wages for host country populations has been disputed in several academic studies. Much of this research simply finds a net zero effect on wages, so neither positive nor negative. In addition, researchers routinely find that immigration offers complementary skills that can be applied side by side with the abilities of the native population. This basically results in specialization. Native-born workers are more likely to have communication-intensive positions that require high fluency in the host country's language, while immigrant workers tend to work in more research and development-intensive jobs that emphasize specific skills over communication. It often also results in immigrants working in the least skilled jobs where local populations do not want to work. Think about domestic work and agricultural work. Finally, a unique group of migrants that has been particularly studied in host countries are refugees. Since this population has been forced to flee from their origin due to a well-founded fear of persecution, the circumstances inciting their movement are certainly unique. In terms of the labor market, hosting refugees has been associated with increased likelihood of wage employment and a decrease in informality among highly skilled local workers. On the other hand, studies have observed competition between refugees and low-skilled local workers for employment. Whether or not this drives down unskilled wages is still a debated issue. Outside of the labor market, hosting refugees can affect social cohesion. While this is dependent on location and circumstances, evidence from countries like Rwanda and those in Northern Europe has not associated refugee hosting with a serious threat to social cohesion. Now that's a brief introduction to the effects of migration in destination countries. While there are certainly more effects and examples, these are some of the most researched and discussed. Keep an eye out for future in-depth videos where I will focus on specific effects one at a time. Until then, please give this video a thumbs up and share it around if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already and turn on the notifications so you never miss an update. See you next time.